At Digestive Disease Week in San Diego, Dr. Roy Satikno discussed the ability of a new, high-definition colonoscope to predict the cancer potential of small polyps. We randomized 588 patients uh, to study uh, dual-focus colonoscopes versus the current model colonoscopes. And uh, we found that the dual-focus colonoscope was able to uh, provide a high confidence, accurate diagnosis of polyp less than five millimeter, more uh, than the standard ones, although both of them meet the standards that was set forth by the American Society of GI Endoscopy, that the accuracy and negative predictive value to be more than 90%. Right, and so what are the potential implications of that in terms of the ability to avoid the need for a pathologic assessment of every polyp that's less than five millimeters? I think uh, in the future uh, we can uh, do this endoscopically in real time. Uh, patients uh, certainly would like that more, uh, that uh, they don't have to worry what the pathology is going to come back as. And uh, we can, uh, at the end of the procedure, perhaps say, uh, you need to come back at this time. All the polyps are okay, they are benign. Um, and uh, in the long run, also, uh, this uh, may uh, save us the cost dollars uh, that uh, are now uh, being consumed to uh, examine polyps that are, that are uh, most likely to be benign and has no consequences. Yes, and I believe you were talking before that this is the first time data been collected that demonstrate this ability to make the diagnosis based on the appearance of the polyp and not having to send it to pathology. So what additional steps, though, need to be taken now before this is done routinely in practice? Uh, in this study, we uh, had uh, five endoscopies uh, with varying uh, levels of, uh, abil of, of experience. Uh, but they are in uh, academic centers. Uh, so now uh, we need to uh, train uh, people in the community and uh, see if these uh, results can be uh, replicated in those settings.